when, when I was a child, uh, being out there and, and uh, looking, up, looking up to the sky and in a roofless outhouse where I saw paintings. Paintings coming from above. And it's going back to, to my early upbringings, how we grew up and what I would take actually sticks on the dirt and draw images and then add rocks and then the discovery of color. Is a colorless pattern. Is a pattern that is evolving. It's a nurturing pattern. It is the Mother Earth itself that embraces me. And she looks upon me, observing, keeping a watchful eye as I've been being given as a caretaker by what she has to say to all of us as humanity. And that we all should embrace that very spirit as to who we are, that the very artist in all of us, and those that take the lead that we embrace their venture because it's very much a venture of all of us here in, in planet Earth. And I would like as you look at this that don't consider the man, but look at the work. David Teneo, bold, exciting, spiritual. We're film filming today at Galleria Mystica. This is the resident gallery of David Teneo. We presently have about 60, 65 works of art uh, on display, exhibiting, and for sale. And continuously, we are changing out the art, and David is busily developing new creations. David's creations are extremely spiritual. They're bold in color, they're exciting. Uh, if you take a piece of his work and put it into somebody's house, it changes the whole vibration of the room that it's in. Uh, his work is, is a communication with the spirit. I'm going to talk about this. This, uh, this is a commission in the late 90s, I believe 97, 98, a uh, commission that I, I received from the uh, City of Tucson Arts Council to kind of uh, briefly give an overview of some of the history of the making of El Rio, the past, the present, the building of the new center.
doing murals, that is a lot of work because you have to do the scaffolding and you have to climb up there and you have to, like he doesn't really scale his murals, but a normal person would. <laughs> A normal person that didn't want it to look funky would, but he gets it done. It, look, it does not look weird. And um, he does not scale his, his nails. We used to sit drinking milk naturally under the tree there, and uh, he was saying one day, he said, maybe I ought to paint that, that rooster. That'd be cool. So one day he just painted it. And that's when we discovered that he was going blind, because I said, I, I don't want a blue rooster, man. I want a red rooster. And it was hanging right there, right where, where that spot is right there. And he says, it is red. No, it's not. It's blue. Oh, and then he said, I've been having trouble with my eyes lately. This one was in the, the Tucson Museum of Art, the retrospect. And um, this is when he started losing his eyesight a lot. And it was kind of like comforting to him to make this piece and have his friends that he's been painting for so many years with him. It says on there, um, estamos aquí, no estás solo, tus amigos, Frida, Guerrero y Katrina. The skeleton. Uh, the vision has been my companion or the lack of vision but it's inner vision really is a true spirit of any, of any artist is to have that that desire and purpose to continue to create and uh, find myself in, in a new a new adventure and a new quest of having my work not only be seen here locally but now in a national and international level.